Yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? It's Luis, man. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people. We're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's gonna make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! We told you not to fuck with us! <laughs> Shit! Michael! Say fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother are watching the kids! Yeah, look, I'm here. Yeah, like I said, man, everything's a little fussy. Well, if you think of anything else, Mr. Lopez. Yeah, sure. Sure, I'll give you a call. Thanks. Yo, what's up, Bobby? Hey, 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 hey. There was a bomb at the bank. The place got robbed. Nothing to do with me, I, I swear. Um, some Irish guys. Anyway, um, listen. I'm coming over, okay? So wake up. You hear me? Wake up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I, I was working late at the club. Yeah, mommy, don't be like that, okay? I'll be home soon. Look, I, I gotta go. Okay. Who the fuck is it? It's me, though. Oh, whatever. Come on. How are you? I'm good, boss. How are you? Oh, you look terrible. <laughs> That's good, because I am terrible. Fucking wretched. What's wrong? Oh, the usual. Boyfriend thinks I'm a cash machine. One nightclub catering to the rich, mindless crowd. In the city where the rich, mindless crowd is suddenly poor and mindless. Another club catering to the gay and decadent crowd, where the gay and decadent crowd suddenly think decadence means buying outrageous new throw cushions instead of getting loaded in a bar. And every half-wit, part-time hood in this city thinking, I know. Let's put the squeeze on the club owners. They must really, really want to substitute my inadequacies with their money because, after all, they want to stay up all night talking bullshit to morons because they enjoy it. it sounds pretty usual. Oh, thanks for the support. Hey, that's what I'm here for, boss. <laughs> yes, you know, if the bodyguard business partner thing doesn't work out, you should consider a career as a fucking life coach. A uh, what? Never mind. Did you speak to Troy? Yeah, he said he loves you, but he can't handle working the door at a gay club anymore. He says people are laughing at him. Who's laughing at him? I don't know. I think the little people who live in his head. The ones stuck in 1955. <laughs> oh, I love those people. And what's up with Desi? Yeah, he says he saw you last night. Yeah, and you was holding court with that Chloe Parker until uh, 4 a.m.? I was? Apparently so. Oh, my God. 45 years old, and I get my kicks doing blow with 17-year-old kids whose only claim to fame is that people know better what their vagina looks like than their face. I should be sent to prison. Shouldn't I? Yeah, most definitely. What's this money? Did you rob your own club? 
Tony, I just went to the bank for you, man. I don't want it in the bank. Hey, Tony, the door was open. Man, it's easier to get into your apartment than into your nightclub. Yeah, we have an Oguido policy at the club. Here I ain't so sure. Oh, I love getting racially abused by a spick. Yeah, who's a fucking taco, Tony? Uh, my business partner, Luis. Gentlemen, watch your language. We're in the great melting pot. We're not spicks or guidos or fags. We're proud Americans. Luis, this is Vince and Rocco, relatives of Gracie. And credit is to you. And guess what? We ain't here about Gracie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's a start. I guess we don't have to beat you two lovers up. Yeah, good one. See you later. Oh, nice to meet you, muscles. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck, there goes payroll. Who the fuck were those two assholes, T? <laughs> Fine men of the cloth. Who the fuck do you think they are? Ancelotti goons I borrowed money from way back. Uh, never mind. Amateurs. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. We need to go to Hercules. Und damit. Nee, ja, ähm, willkommen zurück zu Let's Play GTA 4. Wir beginnen jetzt das, ähm, DLC, The Ballad of Gay Tony. Fahrt, fahr Tony zum Herkules. Gib es auf, Tom. Wo hat das Geld gekommen? Well, Tom, du bist ein Skimjob. Ich bin 100% legitimate, Luis. Du kennst mich. Total Transparenz. Manchmal frage ich mich, ob du mich als Partner gebracht hast, nur um die Schuld zu schauen, wenn die IRS kommt. I was investing in your industry and acumen. Don't look for anything sinister here. That's what you say, T. But I'm kind of suspicious. Maybe when it's in that robbery, made me paranoid. And maybe it's just hanging out with you. Who the fuck knows? Ich weiß nicht viel über dieses DLC, aber wenn ich mich jetzt nicht irre, dann weiß ich, dass also nee, wenn ich mich jetzt nicht irre, dann ist dieses dieses DLC ähm Kürzer als The Lost and Damned. Vielen Dank. Here we are. Troy, get over here. A very important client is coming tonight. We need complete discretion. Hey, <laughs> you know me, Tone. Don't ask, don't tell. Military Gray. Hey, this is serious. He's paranoid no one will buy his next CD if they know he'd rather be singing cabaret than rapping. As if people buy CDs anymore. Sure. Look, I really need to talk to you, blah, Tony. Blah, blah, blah. Another time, Troy. We'll be at Masonette. Ah, Tony, to Masonette 9. Gut, dann einmal umdrehen. Troy's getting anxious. We should all be getting anxious. The nightclub business is going to shit. Forget the banks. We're the ones who needed a bailout. Oh, no, das ist ja direkt hier. Time to be charming, Lulu. Hi, right, Tom. Hey, Al. I gotta make some calls. You work the floor. Electro shock. Hang im Club ab. Hm. Oh, ich kann ihn sogar umschubsen. Ich zerstöre hier die Party. Hier wird nicht getanzt. Aufhören. Ich werde angerufen. Okay, nach oben muss ich. Und ich kann dir sogar schlagen. Das lassen wir aber erstmal.
Hier muss ich nicht rein. Ah, ich muss sie wieder raus. Desi wouldn't let me address like that, huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> Do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right. So take some time off. The girls in there could use a night off, too. We out there. Bye-bye, gentlemen. Nice boss you got there. You stuck a fucking fag. Mike, right, come on. Hey. Club of yours was bullshit. You gonna take us back to the heist or what? <lacht> bringe, die bringe deine Freunde zurück nach Northwood. Dann fahren wir dort mal hin. You sound like 5-0. Shit. You think Enrique could get a job at Burger Shop? What's your IQ, H? 76, motherfucker. What they gonna let you do at Burger Shop with an IQ sub 80? They're just about to let me wash the goddamn dishes. You see what I mean now? They don't even have dishes at Burger Shop. All this shit is polystyrene. There ain't another job in the city for this dumb bastard to do. Hourly wage considered and all. You don't get no pussy work in Burger Shop, neither. Them Ivy League motherfuckers can't find work. What you think Rike's meant to do? Work them corners, man. Work them corners. I do don't mean nothing, man. You guys are better than this. I don't want any of us to go away again. Then come on board with us. We can start selling our own product. Your connections, man. We'll have the whole city on our gear. I took a bit for you once, man. I ain't going back there. Here we be. So, we sind da. Thanks, Luis. Ladies out. Tell that boss of yours we'll be back same time next week. Yeah, see you, Mama Huevos. Ich kann mittlerweile auch schon relativ gut fahren, würde ich jetzt mal sagen. Wie gib dich zu deinem Apartment? Ach, da vorne lang. Nee, brauche ich nicht, ich kann auch hier lang. Oh, das e ja. Das war jetzt das erste Mal, dass ich hier was gerammt habe. Und das erste Mal, dass ich eine Person überfahren habe und auch noch getötet habe in diesem DLC. Du kannst beliebige Fahrzeuge auf deinem Parkplatz vor deinem Ab de ähm, speichern. Wurde mir schon oft genug erklärt. Ich glaube, das sollte ich mittlerweile wissen. Das ist Louis' Apartment. Wenn du dich auf dem Bett schlafen legst, wird das Spiel gespeichert und sechs Stunden vergehen. Du kannst die Garderobe benutzen, um deine Kleidung zu wechseln. Zeit 4, 4 Minuten 20. Schaden 0%. Autoschaden 5%. Ja, das ist, tut mir leid. Hier siehst du deine Punkte, ob du, Sek ob du Sekundärziele erfüllt hast. Wenn du alle Missionen im Spiel abgeschlossen hast, kannst du Missionen wiederholen, um deine Punktezahl zu verbessern. Oh, ich denke mal, wenn ich mir das hier einmal so angucke, ja, das gehört, denke ich mal, auch zu den 
Ja, das gehört auch zu den 100% von diesem DLC. Ja, das werden wir momentan noch nicht machen. Ich werde jetzt vielleicht irgendwann nachholen. Das war aber ziemlich knapp. Okay, was nun? Wieder raus? Kriege ich gleich einen Anruf? Ja. Yeah, it's me, Tom. Things go smooth at the clubs? <laughs> Made me wonder why I need you around at all. Oh, great. I might just take a vacation then. Come on, I was kidding. The clubs fell apart without you. So that bank robbery on the news could have been an opportunity for some positive PR. Fuck that shit. I don't need any press like that. Not with the way police treat an ex-con in this town. <laughs> have it your way. See you soon. Okay, keine neue Aufgabe bekommen. Kommt hoffentlich gleich noch. Hoffentlich kommt jetzt hier noch mal was. Sonst fahre ich hier jetzt einfach nur dumm rum. Und mein Auto hat sich nicht repariert. Aha. Eine Mission. T. Zwei T's. Tony abwesend, Tony verfügbar. Dann fahren wir dort mal hin. Ich, ich könnte Hilfe im Mess. Jetzt habe ich schon wieder vergessen, wie man das ausspricht. Ich könnte Hilfe im Messionett gebrauchen. Kommen während der Öffnungszeiten vorbei oder wir sehen uns im Loft. Ja. Ey, was soll das denn? Das wäre jetzt nicht meine Schuld. Ich versuche vorbeizukommen. Schaffe ich das? Ja. Geschafft. Ups. War nicht meine Schuld. Warum parkt der denn auch da? Also, ich habe mein Ziel erreicht. Hey, man. Hey, bro. Don't you in? Yeah. Maury, Maury, shit, no, no, Maury, Maury, no, I, I got the money, seriously, that's not the issue, no, I just want to make you happy, is, is there anything else my team can do for you, no, we can do events, parties, <laughs> no, anything you like, just, just give it a think, all right, bye-bye, what a dick, what's up, T, oh, I don't want to think about what's up, come on, there's something I got to take care of, Ah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tony! You remember me? Of course, of course. Uh, my business partner, Mr. Lopez. Yusuf Amir. What is up, homie? Not much. <laughs> hey, you guys want to join us maybe for uh, a bit of this or a bit of that? Ah, uh, we'd love to, but we gotta go deal with some business. Okay, good. Good seeing you. Yeah. Take care, huh? Oh, 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 And uh, if you ever want to talk about franchising this place, huh, just give me a call. We will. We absolutely will. Aye. <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the mood, baby. Ya wallahi. Ha, ha. Wallahi. Ha. Head 
down to Dragonheart in Chinatown. Bringe Tony zum Dragonheart Plaza. Gut, dann fahren wir dort jetzt hin. Oh, voll Idioten. Jetzt habe ich Schuld daran. Wir haben genau gesehen, dass ich dort angefahren kam. Haben wir wahrscheinlich mit Absicht gemacht. Bin aber besser richtig gefahren. Oh, ich habe eine Waffe bekommen. Ah, hat er eben gesagt, dass er mir eine Waffe gibt. In that case, I guess my brother is in good hands. You take care of that prick. It seems the definition of family loyalty differs in your country. The marketplace has a value for everything, and I guess that a disloyal Jew bastard ain't worth shit to me, brother or no brother. Such are the heady joys of consumer capitalism. A system that's flaws are becoming increasingly evident. Ah, <laughs> that's right, I forgot. You little yellow people are commies too, huh? Both sides of the fence? You know, I grew up watching your kind getting killed on the TV. Hell of a show. I'm sure, but perhaps the show wasn't as much fun as the reality of that war. Hmm, perhaps not. Now I bid you farewell, sir, and don't do all that smack at once. On second thought, you know, go ahead. Do. Boo. Hey, what's you, greaseball fuck? I apologize for our associate's uncouth manner. I can only say that our partnership with him is one of necessity, not volition. Please, you must be the famous Tony Prince. Ah, uh, notorious, maybe. This is Luis Lopez, my business partner. Hey. Mr. Pelosi has led me to expect much from this meeting. Ah, yeah, about that. Rocco has a tendency to promise more than he can deliver. So that must have been weaned too early. Yeah, we're not weaned at all. As you can see, we are already behind schedule on this project. We need you to, uh, how do I put this, to uh, clear things with the planning department and to ease some licensing troubles. Hey, look, we're not lawyers, okay? We run nightclubs, pretty badly, too. We got enough trouble keeping the licenses on our own clubs, okay? We don't do licenses. Before I was being polite, Mr. Lopez, but I do not have to be. Mr. Pelosi made it clear that you are not in a position to choose who you help and who you do not. Yeah, well, that kid's got a big mouth, okay? And he ain't in no position to be writing checks for us, okay? We are not going to be able to help you, period. Let's go, Tom. Sorry to waste your time, Mr. Um... Well, you are not going anywhere until we have an arrangement. No, I'm afraid we are. There is no arrangement. You got a problem? Take it up with your boy Rocco. <laughs> you are not negotiating column inches and bar tabs, you insolent fuck! We are serious people! <laughs> really? Hmm. Yeah, really! <clears throat> what is wrong with you? I was supposed to be the irrational idiot with the anger issues. I got anger issues. Okay, the guy threatens to shoot me because I can't arrange a liquor license for him. Please, give me a break, T. Oh, God. Oh, shit. They're coming for us. Äh, wer kommt für uns? Und wo habe ich jetzt diese Waffe her? He's a monk, man. Oh, die ist nicht schlecht. Ja, kommt durch die Wand durch. Ja, ja, fast. Du, ich sehe deine Hand. Stick 
fucking surround me! I'm coming for you! Baby motherfuckers! See my ass! Bye now! Wer will noch? Nein, ja, verdammte Scheiße hier. Wieder Fettsack. Halt die Treppe runter. Hab ich wegen dem Schaden bekommen. Oh, der lebt ja noch. Hey, hä? Ey, wegen dem ist fast der Tisch durchgebrochen. Ja, komm, zeig dich. Da sehe ich ja was. Oder auch nicht. Ach da. Nein, doch nicht mehr. Ach da. Nein, jetzt. Hörst du auf? Okay, das reicht. Ja. Ich kriege wie wegen zwei Leute kriege ich dann noch Schaden. Und das war es anscheinend noch nicht. Damit habe ich nicht gerechnet. Er lebt noch, oder? Na, jetzt auf jeden Fall nicht mehr. Ich weiß nicht warum, ich wollte es einfach zu schießen. Komm, beeil dich. Oh, mein Auto wurde repariert. Während ich dort im Gebäude war und Leute umgebracht habe. Bring Toni nach Hause. Das sollte ich hinkriegen. Oh, wir sind schon da und ich bin vorbei. Gut, was haben wir? Hm. Genau, ich kann... Gut, 27%. 100% fatale Treffer. Und wie viel? 20... Ne, 28 Sekunden zu schnell. Schaden. Ich wollte es noch sehen, hallo? Gut. Aber ich würde denn jetzt erstmal sagen, hier beende ich denn jetzt erstmal den Part. Dann würde ich... Also, dann würde ich jetzt erstmal sagen, das war's mit dem Video. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.